a lot of people, you're not going to get too many people who got married in the last year. Um, you, have, you have to make a lot of calls. So it's very expensive, and those internet companies don't have that kind of money to spend. And finally, they can do online a massive online panel, but a lot of people that would be willing to do a panel online are probably people that use the internet for a lot of things, including dating, so it's probably going to include an online or a, a bias. So those are the problems. Are there any questions? Okay. Um, do you guys think that it would be worth the monetary cost to conduct a research study on a number of successful relationships for any given site? Like if you were in charge of the website, you would get to work it? Um, I, I think that it's kind of silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, they. One of the guy, the CEO from Plenty of Fish, said that he just doesn't feel the need to waste money on doing surveys. He'd rather just advertise how many relationships form. So, I mean, I get how it's important to the brand to be able to say like we're really successful, but there's not really good way. So why waste money on something that's not gonna end up being fruitful or true? Um, if you were a potential consumer of these services and you didn't know about this article, would you buy these statistics or remain skeptical? I think I probably would. I mean, there's no reason for me to question it, I guess. Um, I would assume that they had, you know, some sort of market research done because so many companies do do that now that, you know, I wouldn't think that they were wrong, so. I think... I'd maybe go with Match.com's 12 marriages per day, as opposed to eHarmony, who says they have 236 marriages per day, because that's that seems like a lot to me. But Match.com, okay, maybe. Um, based on what you guys were just talking about, 